This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. The training industry's completion rate is barely 30%. ACI Learning blows its competitors away with an over 80% completion rate. Twit listeners will receive at least 20% off or as much as 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out the form. I've often bemoaned the problem researchers have with helping Apple to find their own platform's security shortcomings because the platform is so thoroughly and utterly locked down. But last week I was reminded that for the past four years since 2019, this has not been strictly true. Last Wednesday's blog post from Apple's security research was titled 2024 that was just, you know, next year, 2024 Apple Security Research Device Program now accepting applications. And this, this window is one month, so jump if you're interested. Uh, we talked about this before, but I've been overlooking this truly marvelous exception to Apple's no one gets in stance in, in, uh, in uh, their security researches, uh, Apple's security researchers overview of this, they explain, iPhone is the world's most secure consumer mobile device, which, and I would, argue, I would agree with that completely, which can make it challenging for even skilled security researchers to get started or actually to get anywhere. Um, they said, we created the Apple Security Research Device Program to help new and experienced researchers accelerate their work with iOS. Now accepting applications through October 31st, 2023. Apply below. And then under how it works, they remind us. They said the Security Research Device, SRD for short, is a specially fused iPhone that allows you to perform iOS security research without having to bypass its security features. Shell access is available and you can run any tools, choose your own entitlements and even customize the kernel. Using the SRD allows you to confidently report all your findings to Apple without the risk of losing access to the inner layers of iOS security. And I guess that means that the phone won't suddenly lock, lock you out. Anyway, they said, plus, any vulnerabilities that you discover with the SRD are automatically considered for Apple security bounty, which you know, has ranged up to $100,000 in some cases. Then elsewhere, they elaborate this a bit. They said, iPhone is the most secure consumer mobile device on the market, and the depth and breadth of sophisticated protections that defend users can make it very challenging to get started with iPhone security research. The central feature of SRDP, which is the program, is the security research device, right? The, the SRD a specially built hardware variant of iPhone 14 Pro that's designed exclusively for security research with tooling and options that allow researchers to configure or disable many advanced security protections of iOS that cannot be disabled on normal iPhone hardware in the hands of users. Among other features, researchers can use a security research device to install and boot custom kernels, run arbitrary code with any entitlements, including as platform and as root outside the sandbox, set non-volatile RAM variables, install and boot custom firmware for secure page table monitor and trusted execution monitor, which are new in iOS 17. And they said, even when reported vulnerabilities are patched, the SRD makes it possible to continue security research on an updated device. All SRD participants are encouraged to ask questions and exchange detailed feedback with Apple security engineers. 
and in another place explaining about eligibility for the program and some constraints. They said the SRD is intended for use in a controlled setting for security research only. If your application is approved, that is your application to join the program, we, said Apple, will provide you an SRD as a 12-month renewable loan. During this time, the device remains the property of Apple. So, you know, you don't have to buy it. They're saying here, but it's still ours. The SRD is not meant for personal use or daily carry and must remain on the premises of program participants at all times. Access to and use of the SRD must be limited to people authorized by Apple. If you use the SRD to find, test, validate, verify, or confirm a vulnerability, you must promptly report it to us. And if the bug is in third-party code, to the appropriate third party. Our ultimate goal is to protect users. So if you find a vulnerability without using the SRD for any aspect of your work, we'd still like to receive your report. We review all research that's submitted to us and consider all eligible reports for rewards through the Apple Security Bounty. Participation in the Security Research Device Program is subject to review of your application. To be eligible for the Security Research Device Program, you must have a proven track record of success in finding security issues on Apple platforms or other modern operating systems and platforms. So, you know, have some pedigree. Be based in an eligible country or region. And there's a last risk on that that we'll get to in a minute. Be the legal age of majority in the jurisdiction in which you reside. They said the 18 years of age in many countries. And not be employed by Apple currently or in the past 12 months. To enroll as a company, university, or other type of organization, you must be authorized to act on your organization's behalf. Additional users must be approved by Apple in advance and will need to be individually uh, uh, accept uh, will will need to individually accept the program terms. Now, <laughs> where they said be based in an eligible country or region asterisk. Uh, I looked at the bottom of the page where the asterisk was referring, uh, and there was a very long list of qualifying countries, notably absent, and they were alphabetized, so it was easy to spot, were China, Russia, and North Korea. Yeah, that's a good, good so, group to be in. <laughs> sorry there, Vladimir. Uh, you and your minions... Uh, will not be authorized. You may you may have some, you know, underhanded, surreptitious way of getting your hand on a phone. You know, and Leo, I was thinking, I wouldn't be at all surprised if these things are not geo-locked also. That oh, is, I'm sure I'll they are. There, oh, hell yes. I'll bet there's, yeah. there's some tethering on this thing. So, Apple's, yeah, you're Apple able knows to, how to do this stuff very well, believe me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this is good. This is great that they're doing this. I, it is I presume so cool. that the the one of the things is because this is always the complaint of researchers they couldn't get into these phones to know yep. whether they were compromised or not. I mean that complaint yep. continues because a normal phone you still can't get into to know if it's compromised or not. But at least they right. can research zero days and so forth. Uh, yeah, I, you great. know, it, I'm I'm sure it reflects many prior years of researchers complaining about exactly that, yeah. right? That they just you know, like, well, well, we'd like to help Apple. We, you know, there's all this cool tech in there, and oh, by the way, it does seem to be having lots of problems with zero days. Maybe we could find some of those, but you, you know, we can't get in. So. Anyway, I wanted to correct the record of my recent statements that it just wasn't possible to conduct meaningful research, uh, you know, into iPhone security. Bravo, Apple. Uh, you know, once again, I think they have, you know, they're doing the right thing. Have, has there been so, any reaction from the security researchers on this? Like, is this what they want? Is it enough? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is, it is, you know, they're, they're, I mean, the problem is Apple uh, said that there's a limited number yeah. of these that they want to have floating around. You know, they're, so they're not going to be able to honor, to, er, to honor every request. But uh, in some of the text, I noted that, the, that even, universities 
uh, like secu- security education programs could qualify. Ah. So students in universities could have access to these special, uh, you know, I'm iPhone. Sh- I'm sure Matthew Green is applying right now. You know, that would that's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. And they do really good work because they're not constrained by commercial necessity. So they can they can spend months trying to, you know, break right. into this stuff. It's almost always out of universities. The, the, the toughest hacks come like all the research that we talk about. Yeah.